In today's video, I'm going to show you two ways on how to screen mirror your iPhone to your Mac. The first thing you need to do is to click on the Apple logo in the top left hand corner, and then you want to click on System Settings. Once you're in the System Settings, you want to click on the General tab, and then you want to find where it says AirDrop and Handoff, and click into that. Now the setting we are looking for today is called AirPlay Receiver, and you want to make sure this is toggled on. You also want to check for the setting called Allow AirPlay 4, and if you click into the drop down menu, it's going to give you a few settings. Now if you're trying to screen mirror your own iPhone to your own Mac, you want to make sure current user has been selected. However, if you're trying to AirPlay somebody else's iPhone to your Mac, you want to select everyone. Or alternatively, if they're connected to the same internet network, you want to select anyone on the same network. In this case, I'm trying to screen mirror my own iPhone. Once we've done this, we can exit out of the system settings. Now we need to go to our iPhone and we need to start the screen mirroring session. Now we are on our iPhone, we need to start the AirPlay session. To do this, you want to go to the home screen of your iPhone, and then you want to go to the control center by swiping down from the top right hand corner. From here, you want to press and hold on the screen mirror widget. And here it should display or the list of all the devices you can screen mirror to. In this case, we want to select the MacBook. Once we've done this, after a few seconds, our iPhone will now be screen mirroring to our MacBook, and it should look like it's in full screen on the Mac. We can go ahead and start sharing our screen just as we normally would. Just bear in mind that all sensitive information is on display. If you want to exit out of the screen mirror session, we can either click on the X in the top right hand corner of our Mac, or we can press and hold on the dynamic island and stop screen mirroring. The second method of screen recording your iPhone is by connecting it with a cable, as this is more stable. The first thing you need to do is to connect your iPhone to your Mac using a cable. You can confirm they are connected by going to your finder, and under the locations tab it should list your iPhone. Now our iPhone is connected to our Mac, we just need to start screen mirroring. To do this you want to open the spotlight search by pressing command and spacebar, and you want to open the QuickTime player. Once it's opened it's going to prompt you to open a file, however we want to click cancel. From here we want to navigate to the top left hand corner and click on file, and then you want to click on new movie recording. By default this is going to open your MacBook webcam, however we want to display our iPhone screen. To do this you want to click on the drop down menu next to the record button, and then you want to select your iPhone screen and it should be listed under the screen section. After a few seconds this should restart and it should be displaying your iPhone screen, and it should be displaying it in real time. If you want to display the highest possible quality, you want to go back to the drop down menu and at the very bottom where it says quality you want to select maximum. You can also select other settings such as which microphone you want to record from. And what's really good about this is that you can record your screen directly from your Mac using this method. So once you are finished the screen recording or the screen mirroring, you want to exit out of the QuickTime player and you want to disconnect your iPhone. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.